it's Melissa from Melissa's Creations. I'm coming to you live right now because I got a package and I want to open it up. I want to get inside there and see what's in it. So um, I'm really excited. We're going to actually put together a card. So you get to see some awesome products and a card sample made out of it, okay? <laughs> I'm real excited about it. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm hoping that I can get this done in the small amount of time that I have. So I'm just gonna be going right through it. If you guys have any questions or comments, I will make sure that I will answer them at the end if I don't see them during the video. So without further ado, I'm gonna switch you around and we're gonna get going on that card. Have not even opened it yet, and I have had it for a little bit. So I can get going on this, cause like I said, I don't have a lot of time. Just wanna get on here and open this sucker live with you guys and try and whip out a project. And the project that I picked, I think is gonna be fairly quick. So looking forward to that. Oh, look at this box of goodies, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Okay, so this is a product bundle. Everything except for this um, comes in a bundle. You can purchase the Noble Peacock Sweet Photopolymer Bundle, $92.75, and you get all of the stuff in this box right here. So it comes with the uh, reversible ribbon, 10 yards, so it's kind of a greenish on this side and a bluish on the other side. We've got the stamp and cut and emboss embossing folder, and these are like the beads and baubles. We've also got these gorgeous Noble Peacock rhinestones in all of those beautiful colors. I oh, love it. All those jewel tones. We also have the bundle. So you get the Royal Peacock Photopolymer stamp set as well as the stamp and cut and embossed dies for the detailed peacock dies. Those coordinate together. And in this bundle, you still get your 10% off this bundle price for those stamps and dies. And it also comes with a load of gorgeous specialty designer series paper. So here, whoops, this, you can't see the color yet until I open it, but these are the Noble Peacock foil sheets. And I think there's three different colors in here. So we've got, I can't remember the colors off the top of my head, but all of the colors and products in here coordinate together beautifully. So, Look at that, oh, it's pretty, so pretty. And then we have that gorgeous teal color. And then that beautiful green. Oh, they're so lovely. And then we have here the specialty, Noble Peacock specialty DSP. And these are also a lot of foil sheets in here. So I'm gonna just open that all the way cause I'll probably use some of this in a little bit. Ooh. So gorgeous, look at that foil shine and shimmer. Beautiful, and then we have that fun print, gorgeousness. And then back here we have this one. So there's several sheets of each of those designs, but aren't those gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna make a card. I'm gonna slap one together real quick. Let's see how this goes. First of all, I'm going to grab my stamp and trimmer. Now, unfortunately, the stamp and trimmer is retired. So if you don't have a stamp and trimmer, just grab whatever else you have on hand. So I'm starting with a piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock, and I'm going to cut this into a standard card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half. So I'm cutting it on the long edge at five and a half, and I'm gonna rotate and score that at four and a quarter. So there's my standard card base. And I have another one for an extra card that I will make later. I also have a piece of Whisper White cardstock here. And I'm gonna cut two pieces out. The first piece I wanna cut is a mat for the inside of the card so I have something to write on. So I'm going to cut that at four by five and a quarter. So I'm gonna start on the long edge at five and a quarter. And I'm gonna rotate that and cut that at four. So that is the mat for the inside of the card. Now I'm going to cut a mat for the front of the card. And that is going to be approximately three and three quarters 
by five. So we're just gonna trim this piece down three and three quarters by five. Okay, so there's that. And I need a little bit more of this, or you can use a scrap piece if you want. We're going to be stamping and cutting out another shape out of this side. I also have a sheet of our vellum cardstock. This is eight and a half by 11. I'm going to trim this down to the same size as the front card mat. So again, that was five by three and three quarters. And this is just a layering piece just to kind of give us a little fun texture. Okay, so that's all we need from the vellum. Setting all the other pieces aside for the moment. All right, that is all of the cutting with the trimmer we're going to do. Next up, I'm going to bring in the Stamparatus and we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So I'm going to take that extra piece of Whisper White cardstock that I had. I'm just going to slap that right on down. And we're going to use the sentiment, so very proud of you. These are the photopolymer set stamps. They're all ready to go for us. We just gotta peel it off. Now they are kind of uh, super sticky when you first get them out of the package. So usually with all of my stamps, I like to stick them kind of on my arm just to kind of lessen the stick just a little bit. And then I also like to stamp onto scratch paper first so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick this up with my plate. I'm gonna bring in a sticky note. And to prime this so that I get a really nice ink adhesion, an ink stick on there, I'm gonna take some Versamark first. I'm just gonna stamp that a couple times on my scratch paper. And I'm just gonna kinda of move this so it doesn't stamp in the same place too much. Okay. And I pretty much stamped all of that Versamark away. So I'm not gonna worry about cleaning my stamp. The ink will still stick to it just fine. So I'm going to use Old Olive. Here we go. So I'm gonna stamp that sentiment in Old Olive. Boom. I'm going to stamp the, these little daisies down here. And I'm just going to flip my plate around Pick that up. Again, I'm gonna prime, prime that with a little bit of Versamark. And instead of the old olive for that, I'm going to use the blueberry bushel. You could use the same ink, absolutely. I'm just gonna go with this here. Boom. Gorgeous. Yes, ma'am. We're just gonna use our stitched shapes framelits and I think an oval might be in order. Let's see if it'll fit. We could probably, yeah, we can sneak it out this way. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run it through like that. And at the same time, I'm going to cut this beautiful peacock out. So I'm gonna take that off and it's gonna be cut out of this paper as well. So I can just run those through together. Now this dye brush is retired as well, but there is a new dye brush that you can add onto your take your pick tool. So there's still a version of this which I don't have quite yet so then look you just boom just run it over like you're mowing the lawn do you make those noises when you mow the lawn too I don't actually mow the lawn my husband doesn't either because luckily we have a um, where we rent from our landlords take care of the landscaping so it's really nice to not have to go outside and mow the lawn when it's 96 degrees out all right, oh, I still need the big shot because I'm gonna bring back in my card base and we're going to use that gorgeous embossing folder, the beads and baubles. 
I'm going to use, you guys, I'm using almost every product in that box. I don't think the foil sheets are on this card, but you could easily put them on here. And then you would use every single item in the box. This is the standard Big Shot platform. And again, our Big Shot has been retired as well. So, um, more news soon on what Stampin' Up! is going to do to replace their Big Shot. And I'm pretty sure that this sandwich will work. This, um, this is a pretty thin embossing folder. So yeah, it feels really good. There's a good amount of resistance, but not too much. <gasps> Gorgeous. So yeah, if I want the card to open the traditional way, it's just gonna have to be upside down. I could have used I could have done that. So actually that side is gorgeous too. It just depends on which way you like it. This one is raised up and this one is indented. I'm gonna go ahead and use the indented side because that's exactly what I wanted. All right, so I've got that inside piece. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down now. All right, next up, I'm gonna put this white piece down and actually that's a little bigger than I wanted. So I'm actually gonna trim these pieces down a little bit more. Let's take an inch off. So if this is three and three quarters, not quite an inch, let's go three by, it's currently five. So let's do four and a quarter, three by four and a quarter. Let's see what that looks like. I don't have instructions, so I'm just kind of going by the seat of my pants. That looks so much better. All right, so that was three by four and a quarter. I'm gonna do the same on this. So now to stick this layer down, I can also use snail. And I'm going to put this slightly off kilter, not too much but enough so that you can tell it's supposed to be crooked. <laughs> or if you accidentally make it crooked, hey, it doesn't matter because it looks good. And then this one is just gonna go slightly the other direction, just like this. Now, to glue this down, I'm going to wait until I get my peacock and my sentiment down because I want to hide the glue behind this piece. So, to do our peacock, I'm gonna grab a couple more colors. So I've already got my old olive. I have the blueberry bushel. And the last color that coordinates with everything is the, of course, Pretty Peacock, which I don't have. I believe Pretty Peacock is one of the new ink colors. Darn it. So I'm going to risk using the Bermuda Bay. It's not nearly as turquoise, but I think I can get away with it. It's just gonna be an accent on this peacock here, so I think I'll be able to do it. There is my peacock all sponged and done up pretty. So now I'm going to bring in my vellum piece we're going to build. So this spans pretty much, and he's standing up straight and tall and his feathers kind of cascade down. So I am going to put a little bit of adhesive here because my sentiment is gonna cover that part. So I feel pretty good about just putting some adhesive there like that. We're gonna get him back down on here. And I like that his tail is spilling off the edge. That's totally fine with me. So now we're going to use our ribbon. This is that beautiful reversible ribbon. So what I'm gonna do with this, is I'm gonna fold it back on itself and then kind of, can you see the color difference? It's very subtle right now. It's not easy to see the color difference very well. So I'm going to trim these at an angle that way and that way. And then I'm just going to, where the fold is there, I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive right on the fold so that I can fold them in half. 
still keeping it at an angle just like that and then that is going to adhere across the peacock about here ish so I'm gonna put a little more adhesive on the back of that you can also use glue dots for this if you'd like okay so I'm just gonna adhere that down there and then I'm gonna put my sentiment now again the sentiment is a different shape so it covers up a little bit more than I wanted it to but that's okay it still looks pretty good so now I'm gonna grab some dimensionals and we're gonna pop that up on either side here. So two kind of in the middle there. I'm gonna put that. I don't wanna cover up too much of the ribbon or too much of the tail. So I'm gonna come out a little bit. There we go. Okay, and now I can put my adhesive anywhere that's covered. Just like that. And we're going to come in here and skew this. Not too much. I just want a, a hint of that in front of that white. Okay, and finally, the last item that we've used out of this package, with the exception of the DSPs, we're going to use these beautiful Noble Peacock rhinestones. I'm not going to use very many. I think really it just needs a few like one or two or okay maybe three <laughs> maybe three I'm gonna use the smaller so you have mostly the small and then you just have a handful of the large at the bottom which I like because the smalls can go right in the middle of these daisies that we stamped on here okay and then I think let's go with which color? I'm just gonna go with blueberry bushel because that's a color already on here. And since I don't have the actual pretty peacock, I'm gonna stick with the colors that I've already used. And boom, there we go, you guys. There is our card, super fast and quick. I don't think this video was that long. I can't see the time, but I'm pretty sure we made it under a half an hour <laughs> at least. So that is that. And I'll show you one more time. Here is that Noble Peacock Suite in the annual catalog right here. It's on page 25. So we just cased from the catalog this card right here. And I think we did a pretty darn good job. I mean, I'm, I'm liking it a lot. What do you guys think? Wouldn't that be gorgeous cut out in one of those foil sheets too? Oh, I can just imagine. I might have to do that on the next one that I make. And then here's the Noble Peacock suite of products. So right here, this right here is the bundle for all of the products in that suite that you saw me use today with the exception of that DSP that is included in this bundle. I just did not use it today. Or if you just want the stamp set and the dies, that is the Royal Peacock bundle down here. So you can save that 10% on that if you don't want the other products. All right. There we go, you guys. There it is. Yes, I'm, I'm still too short. I'm way short, but that's okay. There is the card that we made. I hope you guys enjoyed that really quick video. And there's a ton of different product suites that are in this catalog that are offered in the same manner as the Noble Peacock. So you can get a whole bundle of products. You'll know that everything coordinates. You'll know that you have all of the items that you need to create a card right out of the box with the exception of adhesives and scissors and your your basic tools and whatnot but that is basically super easy you guys if you're not sure how to get started or what to order just go straight to the sweet bundles and you are golden you have everything you need right there all right you guys i think my time is up thank you so much for joining me and i hope that i see you again very soon which i'm sure i will but we'll see <laughs> all right you guys have a good afternoon bye